Uh, hello, um, so I'm Ross, the last one for the Q&A. Um, my company helps places tell their stories. So um, I, I saw someone um, today who, who asked me, I asked them, what, what's the key reason you think she works at, uh, she was with UKTI. So what's the key reason that um, place branding strategies fail to assist uh, in the generation? And she said, um, the key reason for failure um, is that uh, local authorities, that's where she comes from, local authorities fail um, to generate a coherent narrative um, that takes account of the strengths and weaknesses of the place. <coughs> so the key, the, key, um, the key failure in place branding is not developing the story. So that's the local story. Um, what, what is a place brand? Uh, a brand is more than, as Matt said, more than design, and, and more than look and feel, more than messaging, more than values. It is all of those things. Um, <coughs> but uh, brand, um, is delivering on a promise. Uh, I, I will be referring to East Renfrewshire, which is a place near Glasgow where I worked with Malcolm, where he protected me, luckily, from any uh, Glasgow kisses. Um, yes, very luckily. Um, uh, and, and I'm going to talk, use that to talk about five key ways that uh, place branding can assist in, in, uh, in urban regeneration development. Um, the first and most clear is, is the development of strategy. Um, Mark mentioned strategy and how important it is. Um, what I'm going to emphasise is that that strategy needs to be owned um, by all the different stakeholders um, that exist within and around the place, those that you seek to attract and those that you uh, want um, to invest. Um, the point of the East Renfrewshire branding was to encourage investment um, into the place um, to grow employment. Um, and to do that, we, we ran a series of workshops with a whole range of different stakeholders to extract um, their opinions um, and to generate a buy-in so that we could point to the work we've done. Uh, that was incredibly valuable in buying in all the different groups of stakeholders. Um, second key thing to do, um, develop a plan which, um, which delivers and monitors this experience, the experience master plan that Matt talked about. Um, the other key thing that's really important in planning is how uh, how you're going to measure the success. Um, somewhere that uh, had a great plan um, about destination branding is Las Vegas, um, means the Meadows in Spanish. Um, you know. um, they had a great plan. Uh, they realised that gambling was illegal in most of America in 1931, and they thought it would be great, let's legalise it, um, people will come here. Of course, they were right. Um, that will mean we'll be able to sell all the land around here, and what was actually a relatively small town. Um, we'll grow, we'll have lots of employment, um, we'll make lots of money, we'll produce lots of taxes, which is a key goal for most American cities which get to keep their local taxation, um, unlike some cities over here. Um, and then they, they repeated this over, over a long period of time, um, selling down growing taxes, selling down growing taxes. What's at the heart of the Las Vegas uh, offer? Um, I think we all have it. Has not been to Las Vegas in three? Wow. <laughs> Um, Who's lost money in Las Vegas? Yes. Money is the, the law. Um, so the point about Vegas is, is fabulous. It's fabulous. Um, everyone is supposed to have a fabulous time in Las Vegas. Um, and and this, this, uh, what, what, what happens in Las Vegas when you go there is that all of the workers in all of the casinos, um, all of the people in the, in the uh, petrol stations, um, all of the people who work and live in Las Vegas know this. And they know that their job is to help you have a fabulous time. Um, and they know that their continued employment is contingent um, on your fabulous time in Vegas. And you're going away, not talking about what happens in Vegas, because what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But the, this, the, the point of this is that the place brand is the, is the living thing um, that embodies and defines the values of what goes on. Um, just talk about something today. Oh, Anyone, does anyone not know what this is? It's not a place. Yep. The rebranding of Royal Mail in 1990 something, I can't remember what it was. Um, it's one of the biggest branding failures ever um, in the history of life. Uh, the, the people who thought that it would be a good idea decided that uh, the Royal Mail wasn't good enough um, and they needed to change the name. Uh, what, what do you think the values of, of consignment would be? They were a uh, trust, honour, and valour. Did you get that from that? No, I really don't. Um, and if, uh, the, problem, the problem they had was the Royal Mail actually did embody trust, honour, and 
valley, um, the kind of hard-working, gutsy postman, postman labouring up the head in the snow to deliver your vital letter. That's what the Royal Mail was about. The work for the Royal Mail actually bought that at the time. They didn't buy that from Consigliere, um, and they stopped being those things. Um, that's why I was a big fan. They actually turned the whole uh, workforce off um, and turned them into one of the uh, most um, vociferous um, uh, 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 industrial uh, unrest hotbeds in the entire world. Um, the customers also didn't believe I was quite a big customer of, of, of the Royal Mail. Uh, I became a consistent customer of Consiglia and actually stopped using them and transferred my money to Deutsche Post um, because I didn't believe that either. I didn't believe the trust on the value was going to happen. It may have contributed to that actually Consiglia. One of those great things about brands, people choose brand names and then they find that they mean something stupid in foreign languages. Um, in Spanish, that means lost luggage. <laughs> The, uh, the thing about um, experience, now we talked about experience, uh, the experience is the key element uh, of what delivers your brand to the people that you're delivering it to. Um, this is not based on, on my uh, research, it's based on years of intuition. Um, the, 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 there is, uh, the experience is the brand, the customer experience is the brand. What people take away from their interaction with your place is what they think it is, not what you tell them, not what you put up on the wall, but how they experience what goes on. So that thing where everyone in Vegas seeks to make your experience fabulous, that's the value, that's the thing that we have to strive for. Um, I and finally, I'm just finishing off. Um, and finally, this is a personal point, uh, almost. Um, the thing which is key about branding is, is differentiation. You need to be different. Um, if you seek to be known for something, you have to be better, differentially better. Um, and someone else who must be unique. Um, I see this all over the place. I spoke to someone else about place branding and they said, if I see the words open for business, one more council letterhead, I will puke. Um, and there are so many people say they're open for business. Most of them aren't, really, in reality. Um, you try to do business with a lot of these people, I'm not going to point at any of them, um, you can't. Um, so everyone thinks open for business is actually closed. We're not interested in it. Don't be open. Be something which is different. Be um, a place to live. What's unique about um, East Renfrewshire? East Renfrewshire has five of the best state schools in Scotland. Um, it is a fabulous place to bring up the kids. That's what's great about it. That's what the branding strategy, the, the branding, uh, strategy communicates. Um, it's a talent magnet. It's a place which produces great talent. It's a brilliant place to have a company, a place to live. Um, so if you can sell anything once, um, you can only continue to sell something which is delicious.